Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at detectivetrader.com. These are the charts of the day. It is Tuesday night, April the 22nd. And uh, another decent trading day in Wall Street, to say the least. We had a good, a good time with several of the picks that we um, decided to highlight this morning uh, and give you buy alerts on. But uh, let's take a look at some of the ones that we've been following and are acting good or have stood out for me today. AFOP Alliance Fiber Optics, we put a swing on yesterday. Moved up a little bit over 19, 19 and a quarter, close 1888. It was only up 20 cents or 1%, but follow through update is always a good day. And although we are at the top of this little channel and we could pull back, I'm looking for first perhaps to get to 22 ish, 21, 22 zone up here um, to retest this double top 21, uh, you know, 50, 65 range up here. That's my potential first target. Um, if it does back off, look for support around this area and then move up to the 22 and then 24 area. Biofuels is next up, and BIOF looking awfully good in here. As you can see, oh, no, you can't see, there you go. As you can see, BIOF has been um, trending nicely with a five-wave advance. Um, the big pop a couple days ago settled into a little consolidation here. Notice the last couple days, pull back, and then another update. So we have a little bit of a consolidation. Um, I'm thinking that this could be Either, uh, either a beginning of a small consolidation that could then explode towards 10, or um, the beginning of a little bit downward slopes type falling wedge like we had in here, but a smaller one. Anyway, I'm, be I'm a believer that the angle of ascent looks to be, the most I'm going to see is a pullback around 5, excuse me, about 6, but I think if it does consolidate nicely in here, we're going to see 10 and then 14. Those are potential targets, but this is the fifth wave, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So look for this uh, $10 level for a target. CYTK, despite the market, has had a very nice week. Uh, take a look at this thrust in the last three, four sessions, breaking out of the wedge. Now, if you take a look at the long-term declining top line, this goes back a ways, all the way back. You can see since 2004, it's been in a downtrend. But look at the volume in the last few months, particularly the last several sessions with over 3.1 million today. The stock broke out above this level here, and I think that's kind of key. If you take a look at lateral resistance across these tops, it looks like we broke out today. So for me, I think we're going to move up to about 12 and 3 quarters, 13 next, and then we'll see if we can extend beyond that. Basically, I'm looking for a, a test, test of the July 2013 high, which came in around 14. That will be my next move. First solar coming back nicely, despite the breakdown. Below support that took out some of our traders because I had to stop it at 66. Reaching 63 and a half before, or 63.30, touching the, or testing the 21 day rising moving average and creating a bottom parallel type channel up. Now, this to me looks like a consolidation of sorts. And if it, we come up to that line, this wedge may be broken and this stock could explode. I mean, explode. I wouldn't be shocked to see 90. But let's look for 80 and 84 five range uh, for my targets at first solar. FXEN. Now, the base broke out. It ran up for two strong days. It reversed back a little bit yesterday and back up again today. 29 cents or 6.2%. Um, it still may consolidate some in this area. But eventually, and after my first target was reached at five, eventually I'm looking for it to get up to test my second target at six. But I would love to see if we can get a little entry consolidation or pullback in here on FXEM. GTAT, well, I've been liking the stock all year. It has had a long one, two, three, four, five wave advance. This consolidation may be less reliable. Quite frankly, folks, I'm worried about a lot of stocks that I'm seeing, and including the market as well. Stocks which were oversold short term have rallied back, some to resistance, some to moving averages, but a lot of them on lower volume, and that really bothers me. So I'm going to be looking to see if we get a volume follow through but be careful about a rollover that could take a lot of these stocks to lower levels in the case of GTAT, possibly down to 13 if it rolls over. But uh, if we break out with, with a thrust above 19, 3 quarters, 20, I'm going to look for 24.5 on it. Similar action horizon I wanted to show you as it snapped back. Now, it's been up four days in a row. The volume hasn't wowed me, neither of the technicals. So what I'd be looking for is to see if this is going to be able to follow through on the little mini breakout we had today. 
Now, the coffee ETF, J.O., I showed you this weekend, had a big five-wave move. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. And then a little three-wave corrective move. It held support and the 50. Went up to resistance, backed off, formed a wedge. Today, gapped up and broke out. It was up 339 or 8.6% today. And now I'm looking for a target into the mid-40s, 40, 45, 47 zone. Here's a stock we haven't talked about all year. But look at this chart. Motor Parts of America, MPAA. A beautiful parallel rising channel. And then it went into a multi-week, two-month type of consolidation. You can see, though, that it broke out today. Not a lot of volume trades on this. It's thin, but my target's 35 now. Micron. How about these six days in a row up, which has taken it to new highs, above the 2568 area, today getting through 26 and closing above it. Um, 45.8 million have traded today. The way it's looking now is this could reach 30 short term and 35 in the medium term. Well, Maxwell really popped nicely this morning. And some of us were liking the fact that it was a approaching 17, got up to 16.87. The big coil that was here was broken to the upside with a big thrust. Today was a bit of a follow through. Didn't close as well as I'd like it to. I'm still looking for 18 and 21. PEIX. Well, it's holding up very well considering the market, even though we pulled back for four days here. Look at the consolidation that's taken place. And today, the little pop. It was up 75 cents or 5%. But more importantly, are we going to get, make a run at the uh, 18 and a half area? We get through that 18 and a half, 65. We're looking for a 21, 22, and then mid 20s. Primo Water. Check out this chart, folks. Beautiful rising channel. A beautiful coiling. Consolidation, low volume ebb, pop for two days today. I'm looking for a run that takes this to six, 482 last. Radnet, how about this chart? I mean, for a low price stock to go from January's low 150 to today's high near five, more than tripling, quite impressive. But this move up here is what the breakout was, right across this little mini base. Let's take a look at it again. For me, this is the breakout day. There's a high volume surge. There's a beautiful three-week flag, another pop with volume, another breakout, and another run. It's extended here. I would look to see if we can get a uh, fourth wave consolidation. For me, this is wave one, two, and three. If we get a fourth, look for a fifth and a sixth, seven zone. But for now, I'd be looking for this one to consolidate and pull back. I wanted to highlight this RPT because Sarepta had that monster day yesterday. And today, although it didn't pull... It, Never got below yesterday's low and spiked up at 39.20. Now, after hours, they announced the secondary, and the stock is back down in that zone, so we're going to have to see whether it holds. But uh, And it is near the top of the channel that I've drawn in. So look for some consolidation in this zone, but perhaps eventually move into the mid-40s. SUNE, another stock that intrigues me, but I want to watch it carefully because I want to make sure that the big volume surge, which is my key today, the breakout above the declining tops line and the lateral price resistance is enough to really start another leg up, which could eventually take out the double top up here near 21 three quarters, but then target up around 27. And lastly, today's VTNR. The stock has just exploded, pulled back nicely in a falling wedge, low volume ebb, popped again, wedged, broke out to the point where we tested the high for the year today at 8.13, it reached 8.22, a new high anomaly. It backed off to 7.75. We're still up 39 cents or 5.3%, and it traded 1.4 million. That's the biggest volume I can see in stock I believe ever traded. So onward and upward, and I'm looking for 12 eventually, an intermediate trade with a short-term target, around 9.5. That is it for me tonight, folks. Have a good evening, everybody. I'll talk to you in the trading room tonight.